Since 1926, Morganite production is one of the nation's oldest and world's largest recycling programs. We're not recycling bottles, cans, or paper, but nutrients from organic matter reclaimed from wastewater using large-scale natural processes which remain as cutting-edge today as they were in the early 1900s. Rather than disposing of the resulting nutrient-rich material into landfills, Milwaukee's answer was and is to produce Malorganite, the organic nitrogen fertilizer. Environmental stewardship is central to Malorganite and has been for 90 years. Headquartered in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Malorganite is produced by its parent organization, the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District, MMSD, a regional government agency focused on providing water reclamation and flood management. Serving more than 1.1 million customers, MMSD continues to be a national leader in green solutions, including the manufacture of Malorganite. Milwaukee. Organic. Nitrogen. Malorganite. The name resulted from a 1925 contest published in National Fertilizer Magazine. The winning entry was submitted by McIver and Son of Charleston, South Carolina. Malorganite forever changed fertilizer production and was instrumental in establishing turf grass research. It represented a true breakthrough as the first pelletized, dust free fertilizer with multiple nutrients. Prior to this, animal manures and single nutrients were typically used as fertilizer. In the early 1900s, research began to investigate the properties of this revolutionary organic nitrogen fertilizer. This was also the beginning of turf science. To this day, protecting the environment and research to advance turf science is fundamental to Malorganite's mission. Oven Yula Noer, OJ, was instrumental in the success of Malorganite, as well as establishing the turf grass industry. He ran a soils testing lab at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, funded by Milwaukee Sewerage Commission. He was tasked with finding the beneficial uses of the recycled nutrients found in Malorganite. It was the first lab of its kind in the U.S., and some of Noer's testing protocols are still used today. Noer's extensive trials tested Malorganite on field crops, vegetables, and golf courses, all of which demonstrated superior results. He was able to demonstrate two distinct advantages, no danger of burning plants, and it produced a dark green dense turf without causing excessive top growth. As word spread nationally about this new fertilizer, Noer knew it was commercially viable. Noer spent his career educating turf professionals, speaking extensively at turf conferences. He authored The ABCs of Turf Culture, which represents one of the earliest comprehensive books on the subject of turf maintenance. Noer achieved venerable stature within the turf industry when he was dubbed Mr. Turf by the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America. We are continually looking for ways to reduce energy consumption, waste, and emissions while increasing our use of alternative energy sources such as solar, landfill gas, and methane. Our goal is to have 80% of our energy needs supplied from renewal sources by 2035. Since 2014, our landfill gas initiative has reduced our dependence on both natural gas and electricity and will generate the majority of our energy for the next 20 years. After nine decades, we continue to produce a valuable organic nitrogen fertilizer trusted by homeowners and turf professionals. To learn more about what Milwaukee is doing to improve water quality, visit MMSD.com. And for tips on using Milorganite for lawns and gardens, visit Milorganite.com.